Hello, and welcome to Discussing Nothing, the show here from Umore, where we take the pointless things we chat about in the office, and rather than wasting our clients' time, we waste our own. On board with me here, because we're on a ship, uh, is Tristan. Welcome. Good morning, Captain. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to our first mates over in the galley over there. Ahoy! Ahoy. <laughs> you both said ahoy, and that wasn't even planned. Amazing. Wow. Right. Well, that's the podcast over. Highlight of the show. Shiver me timbers. So, um, again, today we'll be discussing something pointless. Uh, over to the galley with the question or the discussion point. Recently, the bin men have been on strike. What other service would cause disarray if they were on strike? So beautifully delivered, first mate. Didn't practice it at all. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> so, Tristan, what are you thinking? Well, obvious one, police, mm. the law. The law. <laughs> yes, the lawmen and women. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Very political. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, that would obvi- well, that'd be an interesting one. I think mean, mm-hmm. some people mm-hmm. would see that as a very positive thing, hmm. whilst others a very negative thing. But I think your implications are obvious. I think so. Really? Have, have you seen the Purge? I the film? The Purge. I've not seen it because I'm too scared. In short, <laughs> I just don't think I'd enjoy it. It'd be but like it would be like that. Apart from the Purge, only lasts one day. This would be. Just it would be an extent, or maybe it isn't even a day. Maybe, well, we're thinking strike action, mm. you know, to bring it relevant to the current crisis we have in Edinburgh. Well, not current now, but not when you're listening. Hopefully, it's all <laughs> sorted. Otherwise, we're going to have a big problem. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't think police would be the worst to go. I think. You don't think? No. I think, I think really? people, I think society would find a balance somehow. Really? Like, I'd, yeah. You'd end up just building your own police force, though. They'd be like a vigilante. It, it would get real. I think you're wrong about that. But anyway, you can go with your train of thought. Um, Some massive swole guy in the gym would become like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, just, I just think... Or well, I definitely think others would be worse. I think there okay. would be services if they went, if they went away. Okay. would be more missed. This, Such this, as is, this is your opportunity. Right? Ambulances. Right so, and hospitals and stuff like that because at the moment it's like I don't know you get an infection just go get some antibiotics if you get an infection you've got no antibiotics you might just die that happens and that happens all the time game over it would happen all the time no going no returning to go straight to heaven yep or or it depends what sort of life you've led true everyone um, would just start googling it and try and fix oh, themselves yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be out. For, foraging, foraging for like, um, <laughs> mate, mate. What, what's it called? Um, homeopathy, ho, ho, um, like homeopathy. Yeah, they, yeah, That's like natural remedies. Yeah, that'd be like everyone would go to private. Mm-hmm. Oh, it'd be like America. <laughs> 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 so, well, that's actually. Yeah. It's not turned out well, but they they're doing all right. They are yeah. still a superpower. To yeah. be fair to them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if I, if okay. I had a superpower, I'd want to be America. <laughs> so, so, are you saying that actually? Are you rethinking that the, it wouldn't be as bad um, as the police? Oh, maybe, and in, in the same way, you'd probably get private police forces. Yeah, maybe. that's it. Would and, just and, pop and it up would be like elite people with like oh, yeah. their own like private armies, and then the rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking that one that would be really annoying for most people would be like you know the people that fix potholes. Mm. that council service mm. that would be really annoying short term wouldn't notice it it would wreak havoc to the tesla oh it would <laughs> i would not be having a good time but in general like mm. imagine the roads after like two years of no of mm. no maintenance and then five years of no ma- like the bins you've seen an instant yeah instant reaction within but then it gets privatized right mm. no one's going to be like really like if the bins went on forever it would get privatized and people would then clear it out there <laughs> Aylan just fell Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, so that would get privatized, but like you're not gonna like look after the road like just outside your house, probably. No, that is my true. dad does. And your dad does. He fills potholes. Yeah. For fun. Yeah. What for fun? How? With gravel. With gravel. Yeah. Any... I think, I think people would they would fill them up. I think after a bit of time they're like, God, that's annoying. I'm just gonna really? just chuck some rocks in there. Yeah, that's not perfect. As a as a cyclist. I think, mm. pothole, like, if you go over a pothole in a car, it's like, oh, that hurt. If you go over a pothole in a bike, you're like, 
Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you're just like a broken mess. Game over. And if yeah. the ambulance service isn't running, oh, okay. you're paying for someone to come pick yeah. you up. Wow. Yeah. That's so, brutal. Yeah, potholes. That, yeah, road maintenance in general. Yeah, that would be annoying. Would be a bad one. And because that has like knock on, knock on implications, doesn't it? You know, trade lorries. Yeah. You couldn't get so, like, it takes ages to get anywhere. Yeah, everyone's going like 40 miles an hour as opposed to 60, and all of a sudden, mm. that Every, is a problem. Everyone's driving maybe, monster trucks or something. That is true, yeah. So, maybe <laughs> maybe just manufacturers would adapt. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Plumbing. Plumbing. Oh, plumbing would be bad. Mm. Yeah, no, it would. It would be bad, would Tristan. Be bad. Don't <laughs> even pretend it wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to convince yourself it wouldn't be bad. Well, no, I was just thinking in terms, like, there are some aspects of it where you could get by, like, drinking water, especially in Scotland. You just go around with a bucket, you'll get enough drinking water in a day. Would like, you? Well, when it rains. Not, in a day? You or, drink for a few, you could have a bucket. We've just been experiencing a, a drought, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it rained earlier. You could claim a Munro. You, you, you could claim a Munro. Yeah, a spring, a fresh think, spring. No, nah, I think there's enough water. About. Okay, so water in, no problem. What You're about out. water out? Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, toilet facilities that, that could mm, get real bad. Yeah, it, very quickly. Again, like <laughs> short term. Short term, not too bad. But a month in. There's going to be some real problems if no one's pressing buttons to make things happen. Yeah, it would. I don't even know what buttons to press, but I'm sure there are something. <laughs> I'm sure like those tens of thousands of people that work for Scottish Water are doing something. So I hope so. I'm not trying to belittle their role. We're not, uh, <laughs> just I just don't know what they do. So <laughs> sorry. Yeah, if the toilets get bad at a festival over the space of like oh, yeah. a weekend, then Imagine. a whole city, like. Bad. There's something that rhymes with yeah. city, which is what it would, it would be. smell like. You are right. Um, what about like military? Hmm. Like that everyone's, that no one's got it. So no like now, even, or well, we won't say the name of the country in case they, because they're probably listening. <laughs> they're one of our one <laughs> listeners, Putin. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, Rhymes with trooping. <laughs> Delete the files. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but like no one has an army. So then that way it's like, would it be that big a deal? It wouldn't be here. Like, especially cause, like we're on a little island. So like, you, like if there were like groups of like roaming, you know, uh, armies, not armies because <laughs> there aren't none. No, no there aren't. There wouldn't be armies. <laughs> but it, I don't know, like groups of like post-apocalyptic. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Like, thugs yeah yeah you don't have to worry about the british ones which would probably be quite bad to be fair mm -hmm. but at least you wouldn't have to worry about you've been to a football game oh yeah it'd be See, like that it would be like that it'd be like it'd be like rangers yes. versus uh oh, yeah. the other ones you want some <laughs> i'll give it to you <laughs> <laughs> well sun radar copyright um uh, <laughs> yeah military would be bad um electricians mm -hmm. tell you what yeah, we, that would we, suck. we wouldn't be filming this podcast no Without electricians. No, someone would be drawing it and writing it down. Oh, and yeah. Be released you would a... be writing it. And then oh. we'd post it on yeah, in a letter. Handwritten. Oh, yeah. Where oh. would No one would even... Well, no one, <laughs> no one reads it anyway. But... <laughs> <laughs> no one listens to this podcast anyway. But no. if they did, then they wouldn't... They'd have to read it yep. and come and collect it. It's hypothetically a problem. But in reality, it wouldn't be because... For us, yeah, <laughs> no one listens anyway. Um, oh, I think the news that would be a big miss for just people. All because, journalists, well, yeah, just like I always think in terms of when you're watching the news and we're like, it's an economic crisis, there's inflation is through the roof, or it's a recession. Like, if mm. they just didn't say anything, yeah, I wouldn't know, and then everyone would just carry on. Do you think? Oh, I, I don't have a very good knowledge of the economy, but okay. that is my limited opinion. <laughs> that if people didn't get told that there's an economic crisis, uh -huh. everything would be fine. Huh. Yep. Interesting. I would love to know if that's... I I might be wrong. I don't think that would happen. I think the world would be better without the news. Hmm. <laughs> I, can, I can understand that. <laughs> I can agree with Tristan. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. I think I too think much fake news. It's a very long time without global news. So. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah, yeah. We lasted a like, very long time. Why do we even need to know what's going on in our, you know? Like, why do we need to know what's going on in the world? 
Yeah, like if it doesn't relate to you. I only care what's going on in the Premier League. <laughs> Unless you're actually going to do something about it. like. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I guess I know what you mean. Why, yeah. bur- why burden yourself? But at the it same time... It makes you stressed out for no reason because there's some war going on somewhere which has nothing to do with you. Hmm. You're just stressed about it, but it's like pointless. This is quite a controversial conversation. Very profound. Yeah. Hmm. I know what you mean. It's not that profound. I think a lot of people have, have said this. Yeah. And you. A lot of people and you, Aylan. Or whoever said that over there who maybe doesn't want to be named because it's so controversial. Mm. Trooping. <laughs> um, well, yeah. So I think we're thinking police would be the worst news. No, that's best. I'm getting confused between worst and best. Fair. Oh yeah, the best. Yeah, the best one would be news. It'd be like you know what, just switch it off. No yep. one needs to know. Everyone cracks on. Yep. Great. The environment might plummet. That's true. Into disarray, but oh well. That'll teach them. Things could be worse. <laughs> That'd be bad for humans. Well, it's still someone's job to look after those things. That's but true. The everyday person doesn't necessarily need to know. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I'm just well, saying every day. If it's a strike and you miss a week of news. Yeah. How would they announce that there's a strike? <laughs> there is a... <laughs> it would just be like... <laughs> If the news went on strike, how would they tell anyone? <laughs> you would just know because there'd be no news. Yeah, you'd be like, switch on the... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, they didn't like, think this through. Extra, extra. <laughs> For extra, extra kid has nothing to say. <laughs> well, so there we have it. Police probably worse. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah, or I think the plumbing one as plumbing well. Plumbing could be bad. for the sake of just everyone's sanity. you on your nose yeah. or something. And then best would be news. See you later. I didn't want you. Mm. T- take your news for a week and see you later. Yeah. Well, there you have it. This is, in fact, the last episode in this season for Discussing Nothing. Sad Ooh. face. We're excited to bring uh, a fresh new feel in the next season. We've got some exciting ideas and we're looking forward to it. Um, it's going to include a little bit more arguing. I think it's probably, probably what will happen. So thank you for tuning in to Discussing Nothing. I hope you've enjoyed this random feel of nothingness whoever of conversation you <laughs> whoever you all are out there the three of you thank you <laughs> for your time and we will we'll see you in a few whiles goodbye bye nice <laughs>